Hi students, a big and important update for all the gate aspirants. Yes, a recruitment, a notification which many aspirants wait for throughout the year. And here it is the DRDO announcing the recruitment for Scientist B as well as some engineer post. Uh, so let's look into that. If you go to the careers uh, web page of DRDO and go to the Scientist recruitment. Okay. Of course, it will take you to the RAC website. Okay, that is recruitment, recruitment and assessment center. Okay, so uh, it's not active. They have just announced it. Okay, and uh, you know, you will see that uh, the closing date of receipt of online application will be 21 days from the date of uh, publication in employment news. Okay, so they have just notified that they are going to recruit. Okay, it's 148 vacancies. What is the breakage? I'll show you. But when is going to be the publication in the employment news? It is likely to be published in the third week and whenever it is published, you will get a window of 21 days to fill up your form. Okay, so let's know uh, everything about uh, this particular vacancy. Okay, so if you go to it, you will get the detailed advertisement coming up. Okay, I guess I have opened it separately. Have a look into it. So as I mentioned that there are 148, 127 purely in the DRDO. Okay, 9 in the ADA. Okay, that is the Aeronautical Development Agency, Bangalore. And there are some different in cadet post. Okay, roughly 12. Okay, uh, in, 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 you know, organizations like WESE, which is Weapons and Electronic System Engineering Establishment or CME Pune, College of Military Engineering. So there are some miscellaneous in cadet uh, post. Uh, there, there are roughly 12. So total 148. Total 148. This is what it is. Again, they have mentioned that the closing date will be 21 days from the date of publication in employment news. Okay. And this is roughly expected in the month of June 2025. This employment news. Okay. That's what they have mentioned. Okay. Now, going to the further details. Yeah. Now, what is the breakage of the vacancies branch wise? So have a look into this. Electronics and communication, there are total of 35 posts. There are total of 35 posts for electronics and communication in the DRDO. There are three in the ADA and there are two in the WESWE. Just a second. Yeah, it's okay now. Okay. Then mechanical total 33 in DRDO, one in ADA. Computer Science and Engineering, again good vacancies, 29 in the DRDO, okay, 3 ADA, 1 in CME and 1 in WESE. Okay, Electrical Engineering, uh, relatively lesser number of posts, 6 in DRDO, 1 in the CME. Okay, and then there are some miscellaneous vacancies in Material Engineering, Physics, Chemistry, etc. Okay, so majorly uh, you can say good number of vacancies are there for, uh, you know, Electronics, Mechanical and Computer Science and the important thing is, what is the selection criteria? Is it with gate? Is it without gate? What is the selection criteria? So let's come to that aspect as well. Very uh, quickly, I'm going to tell you that. But yes, yeah, one more important thing that if you are a final year, of course, if you are a pass out, you can apply. Okay, I'll talk about age limit. But even if you are a final year student currently in the final year, but expected to get your degree, okay, on or before 31st of July, which you will usually get if you are uh, in your final semester right now, though mostly you will be getting your degree before 31st July only, then also you can apply. Okay, the, the, the essential qualification you might have noted here only. Okay, let me go back once and then come to the uh, detailed selection criteria. Have a look into it. Okay, so at least first class bachelor degree. Okay, and they have also mentioned that if your degree doesn't mention something like first or second class, so then uh, equivalent 60% or above is uh, equivalent to uh, bachelor's degree, or if you are in the CGPA. Uh, if your college degree offers the CGPA, uh, then it should be 6.75 or above. That is what they have mentioned later on. Okay. And uh, the next essential qualification is a valid gate score. Okay. Your branch, suppose if you are like applying electronics and communication, so you can be having any of these branches as your you know, degree uh, program. But the gate score required will be the EC gate score. Okay. Similarly, uh, similar things mentioned for mechanical and computer science. So very clearly it is giving you the hint that a gate score is mandatory to apply for this as well as a first class engineering degree. Okay, now, when the ISRO notification out was out, several students were disappointed because of the age criteria because this year ISRO has put the upper age limit of 28, but in this DRDO, you can clearly see the upper age limit, okay, for general, that is unreserved category is 35 years only. Okay, so that's mean, that means this is a big opportunity even for pass outs as well, you know, if they have crossed the age limit of 27, 28, so several times they are bounded, they are not able to apply to every uh, recruitment announced on every PSU, but here in DRDO, they, they can definitely look into it. Okay, for OBC 38 years and for SCST, the age limit is 40 years, right? So, this is an important um, announcement with respect to the age limit. Now, let's come to the screening. Okay, now the screening or shortlisting will be purely on the basis of gate score. 
Okay, on the basis of gate score, the shortlisting will be done in the ratio of 1 is to 10. Of course, the next stage, personal interview is there, but no separate written examination through DRDO. Okay, now 1 is to 10 means like there was roughly 35 vacancies for EC. Okay, so 350 students will be called up for the personal interview. That is what 1 is to 10 will mean. Okay, 350 students and this clearly means that I believe even if your rank in EC, is up to you know some 600 700 you are likely to get interview call because not everybody will apply see many of the toppers might have already made the mind some of them fixed IIC Bangalore some of them fixed IIT Bombay IIT Delhi IIT Madras etc or some of them have you know already decided some other PSUs applied for that so not everybody will be filling up okay so 350 students will be called up for the interview just taking an example of EC and that means around you know rank 500 600 probably up to 700 you have a ch chance of getting the call here okay now, exact dates of interview and all they will be announcing later very clearly. Okay. So, yeah, that's what the shortlisted candidates will be asked to come to confirm their willingness to appear for personal interview. So, the next step is personal interview. Okay. Gate score and personal interview. No separate written examination. Okay. Of course, they have also mentioned that they will be verifying the gate score once you reach there. Okay. Of course, you submit the gate score, but they'll also verify your gate score by logging. There's a chance that they'll ask you to log in into the gate portal. Okay. So, which is of course fair. No, not a, not a big problem. Only thing they're asking you is uh, be ready with your login credential. Do not forget that. Okay. Now, as I told you, the selected, the shortlisted candidates on the basis of gate score will be required to appear in the personal interview. Okay. Now, now, important point is how the final selection is made. Okay, the final selection is made as mentioned here. Let me pull it up. The final selection process, this is important. Okay, 80% weightage is for gate score only and 20% is for personal interview. That means majorly gate score is going to play a big role. Of course, interview is important. 20% is not a small thing. Okay, but majorly gate score plays a you know big role in this particular recruitment. Okay. Right. Of course, after that, you will have all the medical examinations and all that you have to, you know, uh, satisfy that you have to fulfill the minimum criteria. Okay. Right. Okay. Uh, all these things are mentioned. One more thing. Only those candidates securing minimum qualifying marks of 70% and 60% in the personal interview. Okay. So, it's not like, okay, of course, there is a 20% weightage of interview. Suppose uh, interviews of 100 marks. Okay. But if you are not able to get, okay, 70 for general category and 60 for, uh, you know, OBC, EWS, SC, ST, okay, uh, then also you will not be considered in the final merit list, okay. So, that, that clearly speaks that interview is important, okay. The final interview marks will be having 20% weightage, okay, but you should have the minimum 70% or 6 uh, or 60% for OBC, SC, ST, EWS, okay, in the interview that they are going to conduct, okay. That is an important thing they have mentioned. Closing that already, you know, we talked in the beginning. So, guys, this is a big opportunity, no separate written examination. See, that's what. When you are preparing for gate, you don't know, you know, uh, you know, what opportunity may come up after the gate as well. Okay, so every time we have been telling you and if you are a future gate aspirant, please listen that when you are preparing for gate, don't only think that it is just that particular day, it is just that gate examination or it is just that MTech entrance. Okay, there are lot many updates that come up after gate examination. See, it's, it's uh, May. Okay, gate examination happened in February and there are several more updates that will keep coming, you know, maybe one or two months down the line. Okay, so if you're preparing for next year gate as well, remember that do your best because it's not only that MTech or the direct PSUs, but there are several PSU examination, your gate preparation will help you there or several updates like this, okay, which may come after three or four months and then your gate score plays an important role. So always, you know, uh, you know, you have to be motivated by these point, these things that, okay, there are several things that can come up. Okay, so you have to give your best in the gate examination. Okay, thank you. Thank you. Stay safe and take care of yourself.